creators, my name's Kat, and this is a show I made in order to meet people who are living their dreams. In this episode, we talked to cool creator Chris Perez. Now, Chris is a painter and muralist who went to the best art university here in Canada, which is called OCADU. But we talked a little bit about what art school means to him and how he thinks about creativity, which I think was the best part. Keep watching and I hope you're inspired and learn something along the way. Enjoy. So why'd you choose to get your tattoos? Keep reminding myself to live life. Sometimes people get too caught up in like other things that are not that important to life. And then you lose track and then you get depressed and you're like, why? And then you realize that there's like more to life than just certain things and you want to live your life to the fullest so always focusing on living the best life you can. Well I went to OCAD as like a one of my main uh, schools to go to. I also applied to you know like York University and Sheridan for the arts program but OCAD was like, like the top one to get you know picked and I think at the time it was like one out of three applicants get picked. And what, what they did is they prepared me for my portfolio and you know I d diversified not just drawing, not just painting, you know I did other stuff. And I got in and I was like okay cool, this is cool. Now I'm downtown life, very artsy school. Like at first I was very like shelled. I never really like gave myself 100% when it came to like expressing myself, aside from just technically drawing and or painting or whatever. But when I got from the experience of OCAD is to express yourself more than the usual person because people start to lose that as they get older. Oh, I see. So, because sometimes people would be like, oh, I have this job, you know, I, I have to be A, B, C to get this job. Mm -hmm. As an artist, you're not given an alphabet, you're not given a number. So you have to make it up for yourself. And that's what makes you more of an artist. What are other areas of your life that you feel like have impacted your work? Um, fitness. Rec more recently, fitness. Um, exercising regularly, healthier habits of eating. There's a benefit to that. Yeah. But like fitness, fitness for me right now is a, is a big is a big goal. Also, giving yourself those little goals that you know you could take on, like how strong you get, how fast you get, like duration, like. You can see yourself slowly as rest, and that really helps with your attitude toward life. It's not like a dull look of like, oh, I can't do this. Have you tried it? No, you never know until you do it, right? So the same with exercise. You don't know how far you can get until you do it, and do it more, and then you get stronger. Like, you don't tell your body to breathe, but when you put it through exercise, it's growing more than you actually think, so that when you work, and do stuff, you'll see how much energy you have afterwards. Actually, with all the stuff that goes against you, against your mental health and stuff right. like that, like how do you keep yourself in a clean, like mentally healthy place? It, it took me a while. It took me like a very long while to get that together. Like, and it's not easy. I feel, I feel if you, if you, if you give yourself a goal, right? Let's say I want to make a painting tomorrow. Okay. and you set a goal to make a painting tomorrow, go do it. Go try to do it. Like, don't think about money, don't think about other people, don't think about what people are gonna think about you. Just go do it. And the more you do it, through practice, the more and more you do it, the better you, you get at it. And then that will lead you to just do it as a, as a routine or a regular thing. And you won't even think about it or second guess yourself. You'll just do it, right? And then that, what's, that underlying uh, motivation is what helps you lead to bigger goals or bigger like bigger strives in your life. Chris paints murals throughout the city of Toronto and he also has an amazing website and body of work that has been shown in galleries. Well I hope you enjoyed episode one and you can follow me on social media at Kat Mansouri if you're excited to see the next episode. Um, and until next time, keep creating. Bye. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Some really awesome cool, 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 cool. Hey guys, welcome to Cool Creators. My name's Kat. <laughs> cool Creator.
thanks for watching and if you want to bake pies, if you want to raise cats, if you want to paint your way to a different life, keep watching. I mean, I wasn't aiming for a cat raising demographic, but like if that's if that's what you want to do, what? Blah.